so i'm gonna go through and show you guys everything i got now um the first i'm gonna do it in order of how i do my wash day routine so y'all know that i do a pre-poo every single wash day and i do it with coconut oil so and i actually ran out of my coconut oil from amazon so i just picked this one up right here that i got from my local uh harris teeter i'm sorry i'm feeling it because it feels like it's already like kind of melty and that's kind of weird but anyway yeah so i've got this coconut oil that i'm going to use to pre-poo my hair so i picked that up yesterday and then i also went to ulta and one of you guys shout out to my girl starry nights she's always making nice comments and recommendations for me she recommended that i try the new shea moisture grapeseed and tea tree oils low porosity weightless hydrating shampoo or shampoo with sunflower oil so i was very excited when she told me about this this is supposed to be for low porosity hair and also for people who have um fine hair as well so i thought this would be good this says gently cleanse and hydrate moisture resistant curly and coily hair um i know shea moisture is a natural hair care line but i have still been using them while i've been relaxed still been getting good results so I was excited to try this. Um, I went online to Ulta to see if they had it because I had actually went into another Ulta, couldn't find it, um, went online a few weeks ago, didn't see it there, but something told me to go back online and I'm glad I did because when I went in online, I saw that it was not only online, but that it was available at my local Ulta. So I'm glad I picked this up and I'm excited to try it out. Then I went to um, Sally's and I told y'all that I have been wanting to try a, another Silk Elements product. I have been using one of their conditioners for a while since I have been relaxed and my hair absolutely loves it. Turns into butter every single time I use it. And for my past two previous wash days, I have been focusing a lot on moisture and have not really um, done any strengthening or anything like that to my hair. So I wanted to try this Silk Elements Strength and in Silk Intense Conditioning Mayonnaise with coconut oil and silk. I thought this would be something really good to try and it is almost time for me to get a relaxer. So I thought this would be also good um, when I do my relaxer to um, use this as well. So I'm excited about that. And then I told y'all that I was looking for a new leave-in conditioner and I have been wanting to try design essential products for a while because when I used to get my hair done way back in the day, design essential products were new on the market and were only being sold I believe they were only being sold to stylists. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, when they first came out, they were only being sold to stylists and my stylist at the time only used those products on my hair and I saw such great results um, and I would actually have to buy the products from her So whenever I wanted to use it. So I decided to try this Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Leave-In Conditioner and this was at sally's as well and this says for natural hair i um did not realize that it said that but hopefully it's not too heavy for my hair and it does a great job y'all know that i'm in love with the um as i am leave-in conditioner that i've been doing it's perfect lightweight for relaxed hair so i don't know we'll see how this does but yeah let's go ahead and get into it um Last night, I, because I knew that I was going to wash my hair today. My hair probably looks very crazy. Last night, I, um, ooh, my hair looks crazy. So last night, I put some of this oil, 
right here, this Elodia hair and scalp oil. I put it around my edges because my um, new growth around my edges was feeling a little bit dry. I put it on my hair and my sideburns. I put it on my nape and I put it on my ends. So, and I gave myself a scalp massage just to just kind of, um, you know, give myself a little bit of conditioning before I went in with wash day. And I'm gonna show you guys my hair really quick it looks crazy because of how i had it wrapped in the scarf but um this is an unofficial length check i guess because um, i'm about to wash my hair and curl it and my hair is like sticking up all kinds of ways but y'all know um back when i first cut my hair i could not put it into a ponytail and now it's like pretty much touching my collarbone almost like it's right here it's like right here right about to hit my collarbone so and i'm gonna do it from this side as well so y'all can see this side too so i'm very excited about considering i could not put my hair into a ponytail like just a few months ago so yeah i am about to pre-poo and then after that um, I will hop in the shower and give you guys a good review of this shampoo and show you guys how this performs on my hair. y'all so i am back i just got out of the shower just finished washing my hair with that shea moisture shampoo that i showed you guys and um i really like that shampoo it was very gentle it smelled very nice um it did have tea tree oil in it and i was thinking that it was going to have like a very tingly sensation, but it really, it really didn't. It didn't feel like most tea tree oil products, um, but I did feel a slight tingle, but it wasn't like overpowering how tea tree products normally are. So if you're not someone who likes that strong tingly feeling, you might really like that. And um, it was really gentle. Like I said, it lathered up really good. Um, as you guys saw, I washed my hair three times just to make sure my hair was, my hair and scalp was really clean. Um, and yeah. And my hair still feels really good and moisturized. 
since we did the hot oil treatment, I barely have any shedding. I don't know if you guys can see that. Barely any shedding. Um, ooh, caught a little something in the nape back there. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like right now. Feels very moisturized. I can still feel the oil in my hair um it's not like an oily feeling it's more of a moisturized feeling and i always my hair always feels that way because i always do a pre-poo so if you're struggling with dryness try a pre-poo you can do coconut oil and um the oil that i use which is the elodia hair and scalp oil got this from target um you can use that or you can just use plain coconut oil most of the time i just use plain coconut oil or whatever your favorite oil is just use that and now we are going into the strength and silk intense conditioning mayonnaise by silk elements this feels very thick like the last product that i used from silk elements was not like this like it was actually kind of runny but this feels very thick like it ain't it ain't coming out of the jar and like i said my other silk elements product was not like that so i am very interested to see how my hair is going to feel and i left all my clips in the bathroom and I'm not about to get up. So I'm just going to do my hair is short. So I am going to just do two sections and just um, apply the product very carefully to make sure I get it um, all over as I would if I was using four sections. So and this is a mayonnaise. So um, y'all know when y'all see the term mayonnaise and repair. I'm thinking this is gonna be like a protein treatment. This is, stuff is very thick, oh my God. I'm so excited to see how my hair feels after I use this. And what I like to do is just kind of flip my hair over. Um, I don't always section my hair um, but I do at least part it in two sections, but I don't always do four sections. That probably is best and that might be a little bit easier, but I still make sure that I get all the product on my hair by just moving my hair around and, um, making sure I get it everywhere. So y'all off the bat, like I said, this is very, um, thick, but it also feels like kind of sticky, like... Mm, this different oh it's like very sticky okay let's do this side it's like a pudding it's like the consistency of a pudding almost so let's see do y'all have a side of y'all's head that's y'all's hair is thinner than the other for me, it's this side. This side is always thinner. My edges are always thinner on this side. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I sleep on this side or what. Like, I have been sleeping on this side lately. I'm bad with my left and right. That's why I'm saying this side. Y'all don't judge me. I be trying. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so thick. Okay. It's like really thick, oh my God. I probably should have done four sections because, um, okay. Let's see. Ooh, this stuff is thick, ma'am. This stuff kind of smells good too. It's like 
I don't know how to describe this smell. It's like, it's not like a fruity smell. I don't know. My hair has gotten so thick. Ooh. Now I'm in the middle, just trying to be gentle and trying to make sure I get it. Y'all should probably work in sections with this stuff. I should have, I should have done four sections because this stuff is like, it's really thick. And I'm, I don't like to condition my hair with it being tangled. I like it to be thoroughly detangled with the conditioner on it. I'm just going to make sure it's all over now that I combed it. I'm confident that it is, but I don't know. We got to go through one more scoop. One more scoop to do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That ponytail feels thick, girl. Might not look thick to y'all on this camera, but that ponytail is feeling rather thick back there. Thicker than what it used to be. Okay. So now I'm about to get another plastic cap and sit back under the dryer for another 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll be back with y'all in just a second to show y'all the conditioner that I'm gonna use after this one. All right, y'all, so I just rinsed out the conditioner and I, my hair feels really good. My hair feels nice and strong. Um, it doesn't feel like too strong, but it feels really good, really strong. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I have a lot of new growth. So this is, you know, for me to have um, as much new growth as I have, I'm not having any issues with this wash day and I am loving it so much. So yeah, I'm excited about that conditioner. I'm definitely going to continue to use it because my hair feels really good and really strong. Only thing I don't necessarily like about the conditioner is how thick it is. I don't really like conditioners that are just so thick and it is kind of sticky, but I think that's just because of something that's in it. Um, I know when I used to use the um, Afoji, all right, next I'm going in with this Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. And ooh, <laughs> I'm going in with this just to add some balance to my hair since we just did that um, protein treatment. I just want to put the moisture back in my hair. My hair already, this conditioner is on his last leg. So that's why it's making all that noise. But um, my hair already feels moisturized because I have that oil in there. But I just want to just really make sure you know we get a, <laughs> a good condition in today and i have the time so why not so yeah i'm going in with this and then i am going to sit under the dryer with this for about 20 to 30 minutes as well yeah, but overall, I like the conditioner. Um, I believe that, whoa, 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 y'all, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I believe that is, it's, it's an, it's an intense treatment, but it's not like 
effigy intense like where it's gonna be like a harsh treatment and it and I say intense because it's like it's it's an actual I believe that is an actual like mayonnaise treatment just because of how it felt and how my hair feels now but um I really like it and I think it I'm gonna give it my seal of approval and I think I'm gonna incorporate it probably once a month just depending on how my hair feels but um yeah I really like it so if your hair is feeling like weak or dry well maybe not dry but if your hair is feeling weak or you're trying to you know promote less breakage in your hair or if your hair is over processed give that a try and maybe incorporate it within your regimen here and there But yeah, my hair feels good. It feels really strong, but I am going to add, I think this will just give me the complete feel of what I want. Ooh, I love conditioner. And as I'm putting this conditioner in my head, I'm noticing some thinning right here in my edges. I think it's because I did that ponytail style. I am not doing any, I think it's not only that, but I was like swooping my edges at one point with my blowouts. I am going to challenge myself to not put my hair in a ponytail, to not slick down my edges to not do any of that for the next 60 days because my edges they don't like to be controlled and tame they be ready to bounce on me when i try to style them in any way so yeah back to the dryer i go and once i rinse this out we will move on to the next new product which is this um, Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Leave-In. So yes, I'll be right back. Let's move into this Almond and Avocado Leave-In. So this is for natural hair. So let's see how this works. I really hope it's not too heavy <clears throat> because my hair feels very moisturized. I don't wanna put anything on it that's gonna weigh it down. And okay, I'm liking the consistency of this so far. Oh my God, y'all, this smells so good. This smells amazing. Oh my God, this smells so good. And I was using that as I am so much moisture. This, I can tell you, is a little bit thicker than that, but I'm not mad at it because it's not too thick and it feels like it's going to be very moisturizing for my hair like I I'm gonna just add just a little bit more just all right but yeah this is this is definitely thicker than the one I was using but um yeah we're gonna see how this works oh this feels really good and it smells if you want to try this, try this for the smell alone because the smell smells amazing. So, got that in. Ooh, got some tangles in the middle. All right. So, I do like this. I need to keep using it to see how my hair, how I like it overall over time. But um, I think I like this. So far, um, this is a little bit heavier. So if you're looking for a leave-in that's a little bit heavier than the As I Am leave-in, um, then give this a try. This, like I said, smells really good. This smells way better than the As I Am one. The As I Am one does not have a bad smell, but this smells better. So, 
so far I'm liking it. Um, the test will be once I blow dry my hair and see how my hair does after it flat irons. That will tell me if I like this, um, if it's too heavy for me or what have you. But um, right now my hair feels very good. It feels very soft. It is detangled and moisturized. So I am just going to come back when I have my full results so that I can show you guys the result of um, my hair being blow dried and flat ironed. And um, then I will give you my full review on all these new products that I tried and which ones that I definitely think you should buy. All right, y'all, I am back. Wash day is finished. We survived it. This is a long wash day because I added an extra step, but my hair feels so good. Um, these are the results of my blowout and flat iron. My hair looks good. My hair is growing. I am so happy. I'm looking over here because it's a mirror. Now that you guys have seen my results, we're done with wash day. Let's go ahead and get into what I think about these products, which ones I will be using again, and I'm gonna let you know if I think you should purchase any of these. And the only product that is really new, like I said, is this Shea Moisture Low Porosity Weightless Hydrating Shampoo with Sunflower Oil. Now, I really like this. Um, this left my hair feeling moisturized still. Um, it was gentle, but as far as it did not leave my hair feeling stripped. However, it still cleansed my hair and I still got a really good lather from this. And I think I prefer this over this shampoo that I have been using, the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. I think I like this um shampoo better than this one so i'm definitely going to keep using this one and let you guys know how i feel about it as i continue to use it but for now it's a go and i definitely think it would be a great product for you ladies to try as well now let's move on to this conditioner that i tried by silk elements y'all know i love silk elements i say it all the time um and i love their other conditioner which i cannot think of it the name of it right now but i think it's the moisturizing vitamin e something something that one is my absolute fave and leaves my hair feeling like butter so let's get into this one the strength and silk intense conditioning mayonnaise with coconut oil and silk I really like this. This left my hair feeling very strong and it did exactly what it needs to do, which is an intense conditioning mayonnaise. So I'm assuming this is like a light protein treatment or a reparative treatment. And I really think this is good. This is something that I will purchase again. And this is something that I am going to put into my regimen. The only thing that I don't like about this, as I told y'all, is it's very thick and it is sticky, but I have found that other protein treatments have sort of that same sticky um, type feel to it. So I'm guessing that's something with the protein or the bond buildingness of the products. I really don't know, but um, I like that it left my hair feeling strong without overdoing it like a, an aphogy or something like that would do. So I do like this product as well. And the last product that I tried today was the Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Leave-In Conditioner for Natural Hair by Design Essentials. Now, this product right here is a product that I probably will not purchase again. I do like the smell of this product, but I don't really feel like it did anything for my hair. Um, I, I don't really think it did anything to my hair. Um, I I am used to using this one by As I Am, the classic leave-in conditioner. This makes my hair feel moisturized and this is very lightweight. I can use a lot of this, like a lot. Um, if you guys have seen me um, use this in other videos, I'm not, I'm not light-handed with this. Like I use a general amount of this. Um, and it's lightweight, but like I said, it still leaves my hair feeling just quenched, moisturized, soft, supple. 
this um my hair still felt dry after i used this so what i did y'all saw me apply this to my hair i sat under my bonnet dryer for about 20 minutes i noticed my hair just felt um dry drier than it would have felt if i would have used this one and i was really nervous about that because i don't like to blow dry my hair with it feeling dry because I don't want to risk the chance that my hair is going to break and snap when I'm blow drying it. So I did go in with this and my Tresemme um, uh, spray heat protectant before I blow dried my hair because this did absolutely nothing. So I might use it again just to see. Um, but I, since it says it is for natural hair, I'm assuming that maybe this will probably be, and this is a little bit thicker than this. So I'm assuming a better way to actually use this product might be to, um, use it to do, to set a style, like a twist out or a braid out, or use this in combination with an oil. If you are natural, this will probably be really good for that. But for me, it just did not do anything. And I really didn't like it. So like I said, I might try it one more time just to make sure that I wasn't tripping, okay? Because sometimes I'm a little bit hard on stuff. So I'll try it again and I will let y'all know. But yes, um, this is the end of my wash day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there are some more products that you're interested in and i'm um, seeing maybe some products that you've seen other people use or just new products products that you're curious about and if it is new please tell me because sometimes i'll be a little bit behind so and i don't know everything that comes out so any questions comments leave them down below don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe and i will see you ladies in the next video Bye bye